Hello there, and welcome to another guide by me. In this video, we are going to talk about parasons and their mods. So, what is a parason? It is the thing every Warframe has, which can be used for two main purposes. Enhancing the hacking experience when using a Warframe, or performing the so-called mercy kills, around which the whole system of Uva Liches was built around. Take note that operators can't use Parazon as it remains a part of the Warframe, so for purposes of hacking, performing it with operator will render all current Parazon hacking mods inactive for that particular hack. A few side notes before we start. Some mods are inherently useless. Take it for what it is, but things like Blood for Ammo, Blood for Energy, and Blood for Life are supposed to give you extra drops on Mercy Kills, but honestly, who really does that? I don't know about you guys, but my weapons usually just shred enemies to pieces, and in almost every scenario I don't have time to Mercy Kill anyone. Besides, one health orb is not gonna help you when you get damage for hundreds of hit points. And same goes for Blood for Ammo, Ammo Boxes, with especially Ammo Hungry equipment. I can see how blood for energy could be useful for arcane energize, but at that level it's more practical to just kill everyone to get a number of energy orbs instead of searching for a mercy kill. So we cross that one out as well. We should throw the out of sight mod to our trash pile as well. I could get behind the idea of blinding surrounding enemies with mercy kills, if that at least offered the chance for finisher. Well, like Excalibur skill does, but without it, I think it's a waste of mod slot. One other thing I would like to draw your attention to is that the market price provided for every mod here is taken at the time of making this video, so they may and probably will change as time passes. With that out of the way, let's get to it! The first in our list of mods hit and run, I picked it so that we could be done with the mercy kill thing to get it out of the way. This mod is supposed to give you a bit of extra speed with parkour maneuvers after a mercy kill. You can get it as a fairly frequent drop from the hyena pack on Neptune, so acquiring it shouldn't be a problem. The real use for this, according to most people, is on Kuva Lich missions. That could work, and it would be good for these missions if you don't have anything else to put in the slot, but I personally find it redundant, unnecessary. Having a full squad, or at least one trusty teammate, already makes farming Requiem Murmurs that much faster. But if you want extra mobility, sure, go ahead. That is one of the easiest mods to acquire, and fairly cheap too. So let's move on. Intruder the first hacking mod we are looking at, and the most common as well. It is a frequent drop from corrupted enemies, but I could have sworn I got it more than once as a spire ward, despite wiki claiming that's impossible. As to its effects, for corpus puzzles this is a fairly straightforward thing, you get extra time to work on the puzzle, and that's it. With Grenier puzzles, however, that literally translates into slowdown which can be counterproductive in the sense that it may take longer to finish the puzzle, which in turn could make a difference when you perform those last moment hacks. This mod can prove especially detrimental for veteran players, who are used to a different pace of hacking, but I shall not deny that it can be useful to some people, be it new players or those who merely like the slower pace of hacking with this mod on. Livewire a mod with interesting idea behind it, but terrible implementation of the said idea. The description is misleading, claiming to shock the enemies around you when hacking. What it does in essence is applying the otherwise unavailable to player electric damage over time effect to enemies around the player, once the player starts hacking. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it applies the shocking status effect. The enemies take damage, true. But as you can clearly see from the footage, mostly they just take some neg negligible damage and that's it. You can get the said mod from Rotation A of Tire 2 Spy missions, 
namely Jupiter, Ceres, Saturn and Europa at about 9% chance. Still, in my opinion, a pretty useless thing. I would take it only if I had nothing else to put into that particular horizon slot. So let's move on. Runtime. This one and the next mod we shall have a look at are one of the most useful mods you can get for your Parazon. Why? Because whether it's a bug or not, the sprint speed in the mod description affects archwing speed, which incidentally makes it a top choice for idle on hunt lure gathering task, especially so if you happen to play as Trinity in the party. It does speed you up a bit on normal missions as well when you sprint, but that is hardly useful on spy missions with all those lasers and cameras. Both this and the next mod we are going to look at can be found with 14% chance, 7% chance each, rotation C on Kubo Fortress spy mission. Untraceable. Now, this is the most useful Parazon mod like ever. Not only does it make you invisible in the Arcwing mod, Stacking nicely with runtime for idle hunts, it, it is also immensely useful for normal spy missions. As you can see, the first console which unlocks the spy challenge room makes it so you enter it already being invisible, and the rest, as they say, is history. I will repeat myself here, this mod, same as the previous one, can be found only on rotation C. Rewards hacked on Kuva Fortress spy mission. Master Key Much like Master Thief, the Master Key mod appeals to the greedy among us. It does not assist in spy missions as such, instead it offers a different advantage. The ability to unlock up to 5 closed, glowing red, lockers, turning them green in the process. The actual process of unlocking them goes like a chain reaction, albeit a slightly chaotic one, hitting lockers one by one in a random pattern. The lockers themselves perform just as expected, nothing special, except in the long run, opening all those lockers increases the number of Ayaton stars you may find. You can find this mod with a 10% chance as Rotation C reward on Tier 1 spy missions, uh, that is on Mars, Earth, Phobos, Mercury and Venus. I personally like this mod and use it quite frequently. Failsafe. Another pretty much unnecessary mod. Could be good if you are the kind of person who's really bad at solving those hacking puzzles, but other than that. The ability is pretty much self explanatory. There's no need for me to even elaborate further on that. You can get this mod with 38% chance at rotation C of Lua spy mission. Out of reach. Our list ends with an extremely useful mod. This little thing here provides a decent chance to bypass hacking altogether. You'll know it triggered when you get no puzzle from the console, as you can see here. Remember, if you fail a console hack or cancel it, the subsequent attempts at hacking won't have a chance to trigger this mod into action. Now, this mod you can find an entire 3 spy missions rotation C reward, with only 7% chance. Tire 3 means the spy missions for this are on Sedna, Neptune, Pluto or Uranus. This ones tend to be quite expensive on market as well, due to a high demand, and rightly so I might add. I've made it pretty obvious about which mods I prefer, but if you'd like uh, to see what mods I pick for myself, then here we go. In my casual setup I have Master Key, Outer Bridge and Untraceable for comfort. I swap out Master Key for runtime when doing Eidolon runs because there are no lockers on planes of Eidolon, but even more so because of the Arcwing speed boost it gives when hacking lures, which is always welcome. And here we are again. That was the last mod on my list and I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like what I'm doing here and you'd like to stay informed. Write me a comment or even add me on Discord if you have any questions. Also, as you may have noticed, I finally upgraded my channel to the real Full HD and I hope this video looked better than my previous ones.
See, see you later, guys. No fancy stuff in this video. Not, not today.